Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kyleen if you're new and today I am filming my what's on my registry video. Now it took me so long to like actually make this registry because I'll admit it was very overwhelming. Um, there's so many things that you need for a baby and I just like didn't even like want to start because I was like, ugh, that's a lot of money. But here we are, I finally have done it. I have written down like everything on here and then I'm gonna show you guys some photos of like the items that I'm talking about. But I watched a lot of these videos online and so it was super helpful and I just want to be able to do the same for you guys. So anyways, that is enough blabbering about why I'm filming this video, but I did use a baby list for my registry. Um, this one's super easy because you can add it to your bookmark and then like, pull from any site that you're on. So for me, that allowed me to use like small businesses and different companies that aren't like Target or Bye Bye Baby or Amazon, things like that. Now, if you do this, I do suggest that you should also register at Target and Bye Bye Baby. Um, my sister-in-law and some of my friends have told me that you can get like discounts, I think like 15 to 20% if you buy something off of your registry and then you also get like little gift baskets and stuff. So I haven't done that yet because I've been a little lazy, but I'm definitely gonna do that as well. Okay, so I broke this up into categories and so I'm just gonna go through each category and then list off the items that I have. I do have over like 90 items on this list. So grab a coffee or something because it's probably gonna be a long one. But my first category is baby gear and this one's kind of random, like a little bit, but I tried my best to organize this for you guys. So the first thing that I have is a Fawn Design diaper bag and I want it in the color brown. I have loved this company for years. Um, my friends have used it and I just think it's so beautiful. And it allows like me and Nathaniel to both share this bag without it being too feminine and like him having to have his own bag. So that is the diaper bag I am gonna be getting. I also have the Snuggle Me Organic and Natural. That's the color I would like. I am gonna use this instead of the Docatot. I know a lot of people get both and say that the Docatot like helps as they get bigger, but I don't know. I don't really wanna spend the money on two and the Snuggle Me Organic just looks like way more comfortable. So that is the one I am going to put on my list. For a sound machine, I do want the Hatch Baby sound machine. I love that it hooks up to your phone and then it displays like different colors too. So like you can kind of like set the tone for the baby. Like at night you can do like the red, orange hues so that they know it's like a calming thing in the brain. Um, and then the blue and the white is like waking up, that kind of thing. And then of course it has sound on it too. So. That is a sound machine I would like. And then I have the Ingenuity Boutique Collection Swing and Go. Um, I saw this girl on Instagram post about this. Her uh, handle is at the tiny. I seriously love like all of her decor and stuff. But it's like a very cute swing that doesn't like just look horrible, but it also swings side to side and back and forth, which I've been told you definitely want something like that. So that is the swing that I would like. And then purely for looks, judge me if you want, but I want the Charlie Crane baby rocker because it looks so freaking cute. I'm sure you guys have seen this on Instagram, but it's like that little wooden rocker that has like just a white pillow top. And I think you literally have to like rock it yourself with your foot or your hand, but I honestly just want it for my nursery and I've seen like it be useful too. It doesn't really sound like it's gonna be very functional, but I want it. And if I have the extra money, I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> As for swings or slings and like baby carriers go, I am gonna do the Soli, uh, I think it's Soli actually, Soli baby wrap, I'm not really sure. Again, this is a company that I have loved for years. I've bought in my sister-in-law one like literally five years ago. And now I actually get to use that one for my baby too, but I want a brand new one as well. They have like a beeswax one that's like in mustard and that's the one that I'm gonna be putting on my list. And then I also would like the wild bird sling. Again, I've bought in this for my sister and I'm gonna be using hers as well, but I want a new one too. Just because I know they're gonna like spit up on them and I don't know, I don't want it to like be dirty all the time and I just want my own as well. Like I just want a new one. So those are the slings and like wraps that I'm gonna be using. And then for Nathaniel, he wants the Ergo baby carrier. Good for like seven to 45 pounds, which if we go on a hike or if like he just wants to carry him while we're out shopping or something like that, he can wear this. And I can also wear this too. So those are what we have for carriers. And then as far as pacifiers go, I really want the Bibs pacifiers. I just think they're like super neutral and cute. Now I have been told to get more than one because you never know like what your baby's gonna take. So I do have the Ryan and Rose pacifiers on there too. I am determined that he's gonna take one of those two and those are the only two I'm gonna put on my list. The colors, if you guys are curious, that I want are black, white, ivory, sand, sage. There's a black glow in the dark for the Bibs pacifier and then black, white, and tan for Ryan and Rose. So just very neutral colors. And then I also have the mushy pacifier clips. Um, I want the Styles Cleo 
Halo and Ari. Fun fact, I bought a dog years ago. We named her Ari and we had to get rid of her. <laughs> I can tell that story a different time. I can make Nathaniel tell that story a different time. But basically they're just uh, pacifier clips made out of wood and they're like all wood, half wood and half white and then half wood and half black. Again, super neutral. So that is it for the baby gear category. Okay, the next category that I have is um, transportation, which I don't have this one on the list because we've already purchased it ourselves. I don't know if you guys saw one of my most recent vlogs, but I showed that we got the Uppa Baby Vista. We got the travel set that comes with like the bassinet, the little toddler seat, and then the Mesa carrier and like car seat attachment thing. It was on sale a few weeks ago, so we went ahead and purchased that, and I'm super excited about it. We tested it out with our nephew the other day, and I love it so much. And so we already have that, but I do want some car seat covers from copper and pearl those are I think it's just called copper pearl but those can double as like nursing covers too um, so I'm definitely putting that on my registry and then we have the noggle for a car which is basically like this I'll show you guys here but like a tube that like disperse the air from the air vent to the baby uh, both of us have cars that don't have air in the back we're really hoping we can buy a car before baby is here, but because of everything that's happened, like my income has been completely affected with photography, so whatever, don't know if that's gonna happen, but if it does or if it doesn't, I still want this noggle so that we can just like get direct air on him. He's gonna be born end of August, like early September at the latest, and that is still freaking hot in Arizona. It's hot till like November here, so that is a necessity for sure. Um, I do want a car mirror as well so that we can see him. Those are the ones that go on like the headrest so you can see the baby. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. And then I also have a portable sound machine on here just so that like while we're traveling or if we're out at a restaurant or something, we can have the sound machine. Now this is like kind of off topic, but I definitely want him to get used to like being able to sleep through sound. My nephews are really good at that and I just think it's like a lifesaver that people don't have to like tiptoe around them when they are sleeping. And so that's something that I'm hoping to do. So I don't know how much I'm gonna use that portable thing, but it was $10, so I was like, I might as well add it to that list. So that is it for transportation. This one's a little bit shorter. I don't know if I'm missing some things, but if I am, please comment it down below because I'm sure which with each category, I'm totally missing lots of things. Okay, the next category is my favorite. It's clothes and accessories. Of course, the most fun category. Start, I have swaddles. So I have three different types of swaddles on here. I have the love to dream swaddle, the ollie swaddle, and then just like regular swaddles as well. The regular swaddles that I have that I want are from Mushy, uh, Copper and Pearl, and Amazon. Just a bunch of different like colors and kinds of them, but the love to dream and ollie swaddles are the ones I want to use while he's sleeping, just to like keep them really compact so that hopefully he can't like break out of it and he sleeps better. I also have some socks on here. I just want like plain white socks. Like I don't really want anything crazy. Like I just am a very, like you can tell, neutral person. Um, so I have that and then I'm not gonna go through all the clothes because we would be here forever But I do want to just like talk about some of the stores that I like and then I'll just show like a few photos So you guys can get the style of clothing that I like but for like more like mainstream places I really like Zara and H&M. They have so many cute clothes on there I'm like trying to like hold back from buying everything and then from smaller businesses. I love me baby I have the cutest romper from there right now and I want it in every single color. It's so freaking adorable. Cozy's has really cute like, um, I think sleep sets and maybe like onesies and then same with Solly Baby too. Again, I just want like super neutral items that are just like really co uh, comfy and cozy for him, but super cute as well. Okay, the next category is feeding. Now I put a lot of things on this list that I know he may not need until like he's actually eating food, but there's a lot of things that we need and so I just wanted to put it on there if anyone wants to help us out with it, whatever, it's on there. So the first thing is uh, the high chair, which I'm just gonna go with the Ikea high chair. It's literally $20, but that's because there's this company on Instagram that has like Ikea attachments that they've made and they're so cute and I just am gonna like soup up this high chair. So basically they have a seat like cushion and cover that has like a bunch of different like designs. They have a footrest that's like this little like wood footrest so that he can like not let his feet dangle. And then placemats that cover the tray so that that makes for like easy cleanup too. So I am super excited to get those. They sell out so fast because that company is like so well liked. And so I'm hoping I can get my hands on some of those. I also want the Bumbo floor seat and taupe. So that way, like when we're cooking dinner and he's like five or six months old, we can sit him up in that and he can kind of like be involved with what we're doing, see what we're doing. But also it'll just make it easy to feed him like snacks or something like that. I have a boppy and a cover from Etsy. I think that's just gonna be the most helpful when I'm breastfeeding. And then like if my nephews wanna hold him or I don't know, just 
let him like I think it's good too for like uh, tummy time and just like another way he can lounge on the floor too and be a little bit propped up so I have that on there and then I have the Hakka manual pump and I think this is the only pump that I'm gonna go with I know that my insurance will give me one for free but I have heard that people build a crazy supply with their Hakka by literally just attaching it to the opposite breast of what they're not feeding on and so I have a few weddings literally like six weeks postpartum and so I'm gonna have to build up a supply so that Nathaniel can feed him or whoever's watching him can feed him clearly and so that is what I'm gonna try and do and just like hopefully like not waste any extra time pumping um, if you guys are a mom and you think I'm sounding very naive We'll see, but I'm hoping that will work for me. So with that, we have a bottle drying rack, a bottle brush, and then a dishwasher basket so we can throw like little compartments inside of it, like the nipples or like the tops of a bottle and just like sanitize it in the dishwasher. And then I have a breast milk cooler bag. So when I go to those weddings and I need to pump, I can just put the breast milk in there. And then of course, breast milk bags. And then the two bottles we're gonna try, this is just based off of like recommendations from my sister-in-law and my friend, um, but that's Tommy Tippy and Como Tomo. So again, these are like pacifiers. I know that we might have to try out a few different ones, but those are the two that I'm gonna start with. I have bamboo cotton rounds that are, I think they're actually used to like help take off your makeup, but I'm gonna use them as like nursing pads. Oh, I have bibs. I have some from Mebi Baby that are just like super cute and then from Amazon. And then I also have silicone bibs for when he starts to eat so that the food can like kind of catch it and it's like an easy clean. Those are from Mushy and I like the colors Shifting Sand and Cambridge Blue. So if you're curious what colors I'm gravitating towards, and then I have burp cloths from Cozy's and Amazon and then the Sophie Teether. So just a bunch of different things that are good for feeding, teething, that kind of thing. Oh, I forgot to mention too, I am going to use a amber teething necklace. My two nephews have used these and I have never seen them complain of teething. I swear they're magic. And my nephew Liam, he'll be 18 months old when, um, I was gonna say his name when our baby is born. And so that's when you normally take them off. So I'm just gonna use Liam's, which is super fun to like have my nephews on my kids. So that's what we're gonna use for teething. I'm like realizing how long this video already is. So I hope you guys find this entertaining, but my next category is bath time. So I have the Boon 3 stage bathtub. Again, I just looked up a bunch of reviews and like different things that people re recommended and that's what I saw. Um, I found the cutest little hooded baby towel that's like all white and it has like little bear ears and that's it. And I think it's so simple and so cute. So we're gonna put that on the list. And then we have one of those tear free rinsers that it's like a whale and it like has a silicone part so you can like wash the back of his head without water or soap getting into his eyes. So we have that. And then as far as products go, I'm gonna try the Baby Ganix line. Um, I don't wanna break the bank with this kind of stuff, but I also do want to use things that are more sensitive on the skin. And so I have their lotion, shampoo, and laundry detergent on there. And then as far as butt, like, butt paste or diaper rash, I guess I just said the name of it, but I'm gonna get the butt paste diaper rash ointment um, and try that one. My sister-in-law likes that one too, so we're gonna see how that works. Next category is diapering, which is kind of like a weird way to explain this, but we are gonna register for the Huggies diapers. Again, I'm, I'm pretty much going off of my sister-in-law's recommendations for all these because she has two kids and she's the closest person to me and I always talk to her about this, but she says like she has like no um, blowouts with these and like the least amount of like, um, I don't know, I guess pee throughs, whatever you would call it. So we're gonna try Huggies diapers and then the Aqua Pure Sensitive Baby Wipes. Again, that's just what she uses, so we're gonna try that. Um, as far as my baby changer goes, we're gonna try the Kikaroo peanut changer. It's like the silicone changer that goes on top of your dresser. Um, I want that because it just it seems super easy for cleanup if he like poops or pees while we're changing him. Um, and it doesn't just like absorb into the cloth and like we don't have to do a bunch of laundry all the time. We can literally just take like a sanitizer wipe and clean it up. So that's one I have on there. And then because of that as well, I also have the gather mats on here for changing like if we're out and about or if we're changing on the floor. Again, they're super easy to clean up. Um, they're like completely sold out right now too. So I'm hoping with like summer and fall, they're gonna like launch a bunch more products. But if I can't get my hands on those, then I know Amazon has like silicone mats that are kind of the same concept. All right, next category is nursery. So actually right after this video, I'm hoping I'll have it done by like sometime mid next week or early next week. Um, but I'm doing a vlog on my nursery and I'm updating you guys on like what we're actually doing and then I'm painting this wall here as well. And so a lot of the items that I am talking about, I'm actually gonna show in that one. 
Um, but we already bought our crib. As you can see, we got the Ikea crib. Um, we have a dresser from Ikea and then we have a light as well. If you guys haven't seen it, I can just show you. <laughs> it's like the rattan light or whatever from Ikea. And then I'm just gonna include the things that I didn't really talk about in the video, but we are gonna go with a Newton crib mattress. Now, the first time someone told me about this, my friend actually did, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so expensive for a mattress. But the thing is, is it's completely 100% breathable. And that is gonna ease my mind so much while he is sleeping that if he rolls over on his face and his hands are tucked in, he can breathe into the mattress and nothing bad is gonna happen. I just feel like as a mom, like you already are super anxious with like things that you're doing. If I can like minimize that and spend an extra $200 on something, I'm going to. So that is on there. And then I also have the Plum and Sparrow uh, Moses basket for his bassinet and and then along with that is the like a moses basket stand this is going to go inside of our room uh while he's still like i would say anywhere from like zero to six months i'm not sure when we're going to transition him into a crib uh, but this is what we're going to have him sleep in next to us and i just think it's super cute so i'm excited about it i know a lot of you are probably judging me because i do really like to gravitate towards the cute things but that is what makes me happy and what i'm going to spend my money on so this is me justifying, which I don't need to be doing, but I feel the need to. Um, okay, and then I just have like some crib sheet covers. I have it in white and like an oatmeal color. I just want like a super neutral. Honestly, probably we'll just go with white. And then let's see, we have the outlet baby monitor. I know there's so many baby monitors out there. Um, I didn't really want to do a crazy amount of research because I just didn't know like what I wanted, but this one connects to your phone. While Nathaniel is at work, like if he wants to check in on him, like he can, I think that's kind of cool instead of just having that monitor. So that's one we chose. And then the one item I did want to show you guys on this list that I had for decor is this like baby swing that we have from Etsy um, or that we want and it's in like a rust color. I'm actually going to put it in the corner like that you guys are not seeing behind the camera for him to just like have something fun to do in his room. So that is on this list as well. All right, you guys, we have three more categories, so bear with me, but the next one is health and safety. Um, I put the Baby Basics Care Kit from Frida Baby. So Frida Baby is the company that I'm going to go for with most of this kind of stuff just because I have heard great things about it. Um, this Basics Care Kit comes with the Nose Frida, the Nail Frida, and the Derma Frida. I don't really know what the Derma Frida is. I'm imagining it's something with the skin because Derma means skin. Um, and then also I have the Metafrima, which is like the medicine dispenser. And then I also put an electric baby nail trimmer because I heard from people that that's a lot easier to do than to actually clip your baby's nails. So I just want both options. I don't want to cut him. That makes me like so sad to even think about that. And then as far as medications go, the only thing I have on here is Little Remedies Infant Essentials nose and tummy we'll probably get like some tylenol and things like that but i if you guys don't know i went to school for nutrition um i got my bachelor's of science in nutrition and i just try and do as much like holistic and like supplemental things instead of medicine and if we need medicine if my remedies are not working and we have to give them tylenol or whatever you give a baby that's okay um, but i do want those options of just like more natural ingredients for him okay next category is toys um i also have books on this but i don't really want to tell people what books they want to buy him like i just want that to be up to them my cute grandma has already started like a little library for him which i love but if we are able to have a baby shower i don't know when all this craziness is going to end and i'm really hoping i'll be able to have one in like june or july uh, i do want to use the whole like use a book instead of a card as a baby shower so that we can build up a library that way so i'm just gonna talk about toys but the first thing i have is a play gym and this one's a stage-based developmental activity gym so i know like when he's little it has like the black and white because they really like are drawn to contrast and it just kind of like goes up with age so i have that and then i have a wooden baby gym like one of those things you lay underneath and they can like play with like the little toys you're gonna notice everything is wooden <laughs> just because one like it's less plastic and it's better for them to put in their mouth but two I think it's cute so i have a wooden mini camera because i'm a photographer and i think that's gonna be so cute i'm gonna put it on like these little shelves up here by his dresser but of course he can play with it too as he gets older we have this like rock shaped sorting cube where like he has to put things into holes so it kind of helps with like hand uh, coordination and then this counting shape stacker thing too that has like all the numbers so he can learn his numbers i have a wood baby rattle on there a natural wood teether and then I really want to get a Cuddle and Kind doll. I want the Sebastian Lamb. I just think one, like their company is amazing. They donate, um, shoot, I don't, I think it's like 10 meals per doll that is purchased. And the dolls are just super cute. And I want to just like compare him to it as he gets older and like take pictures next to it. So that is what is on my toys list. Now you guys are with me. Hopefully still we reached the last category and it's for the parents, AKA me. <laughs> this is all like postpartum care stuff. So I have 
um, just like always discreet postpartum underwear just to kind of like be more comfortable once he's here. Um, the Freedom Mom Peri Bottle, so as I go to the bathroom that can help me out. I have breast therapy ice packs, like they're literally just like a little circle thing that goes around your nipple pretty much and helps soothe yourself as you are finished breastfeeding. And then as far as products go, I have the After Ease Drops. Uh, I think this helps like contract your uterus back down as like pain free as possible. I don't know. I've just heard good things about it. And then I have the Earth Mama Perineal Spray. I know that they give you a spray in the hospital and I hear that people like love that because that actually numbs the pain. But I also want to use this spray because I know like so this is just like too much information, but the, I guess the spray that they're giving you just kind of like covers up, it like puts a bandaid on your issue and this perineal spray is supposed to like help actually heal it. So way too technical, I know, I'm sorry, but that's like my nutrition is coming out in me. <laughs> and then I also have the Earth Mama nipple butter um, just to help with my nipples. <laughs> nipples are such a weird word. Okay, we are done. That seriously took forever. This is my second time filming this because the first time I did it, I was so unorganized. I was like, I cannot upload that. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, I think there's so many things I probably missed on this list. So if I'm missing something, please comment it down below because one, it'll help other people, but two, it'll help me too. Um, oh my gosh, that scared me. The air turned on and it like shut my door and I thought Nathaniel was coming in. And as you know, I don't like filming in front of people. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, I don't really know what else. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.